Co. at YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can export your 3D image or 3D object um, in Cinema 4D and in 3D Max in a format in which you can later edit in Photoshop. So as you can see here, here is my 3D object but instead of just rendering it in a PNG that you can't really rotate anymore, um, I'm going to show you how to import a 3D file that you can rotate and move and add a lot of effects to. So as you can see here, I can move the object like you see here. It might be laggy because I'm recording and I have many 3D programs open. But um, yeah, and then you can just rotate it. Um, maybe add some effects with the gradients and stuff like that. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and close this. Um, all right. And here I have some text I created in Cinema 4D. And um, you see here that I have a light. And I don't know if you noticed in Photoshop, but when I had it open, when I rotated it that way, um, it got brighter because it also shows the light in Photoshop as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that because I want it to be even. Um, hopefully it'll come out well if we can get this maybe a little brighter um, let's see here um, I'm not sure if that'll help but let's just go ahead and export this as a 3d file and instead of going up here to render we're gonna go to file export and then 3d studio okay and um, just export it anywhere you want call it whatever you want and just hit save and just hit OK alright it shouldn't take more than a second alright and I'm gonna show you how to do this in uh, 3D Studio Max 2 but it's not gonna come out as well as Cinema 4D and I'm not sure why I don't know how to fix this but um it'll still work and you'll still be able to rotate it and everything um, so just go and let's see here it was export and then um, there's a bunch of files you can choose from just choose 3ds because that's one of the 3d files that Photoshop uh, reads but it also can support more uh, just hit save and hit OK alright that should be done now go into Photoshop and just create a new canvas alright now that you have made this uh, make a new layer put a 3d import from file and browse for your image uh, this is the one I exported from Cinema 4D and um, it just let it load alright so here it is let me just go ahead and rotate it by using the rotate tool um, rotate it this way and you can see here since we got rid of the light it should maybe um, yeah it should stop it from maybe going dark over here and then really bright over here but as you can see here it's bright over here and if we rotate it over here it should also be bright alright so that's good unless you want the light then maybe you can reposition it to maybe the front of the text so that um you get more light in the front but let's just put it over here and um let me show you what happens when you import it uh, with the 3d max file let me just make a new uh, a new document here hit ok and um, import it all right just let it load all right as you can see here it's really uh, bad quality and not as uh, realistic looking as here um, here you can see it almost as if it was rendered with uh, Cinema 4D, but um, here it's actually 
uh, really bad quality. I'm not sure how to fix this. Um, so it's not really good for just leaving it like this. Maybe you want to just apply a gradient to it and um, I don't know. But I wouldn't go with this. Um, if you have Cinema 4D, just go ahead and use that because it doesn't come out good with um, 3D Studio Max. And then after you have this, maybe you can make uh, a cool 3D background and instead of having to export with Cinema 4D many times until you get a right angle, you can just import it as a 3D file. Um, let me just make a really quick background here. Um, if you want to follow this, go ahead or maybe just skip to the end of the video. So I'm just going to add a background. And uh, let me close Cinema, I mean 3D Max, so it doesn't slow down my computer that much. Alright, now uh, maybe add a gradient or a style. This one, I made it myself. Let me just get rid of some things here. Alright, and um, maybe some brushes. This one's fine. Okay. Um, so that looks pretty good. Maybe you can add some drop shadow on here. So distance and uh, Makes it look a little bit better. Yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference. Um, if you want to do a stroke, you can go ahead and do that. But it might not look like it's um, 3D, maybe. Um, I'm just going to not turn that on. But uh, yeah, you can just go ahead and rotate it to the angle that you want. And um, let's make it bigger. Uh, here's some different tools on the side. Just click on it and hold it. Um, let's go ahead and use the scale tool to make this bigger. And um, the pan tool to move it. All right, and I'm sure there's shortcuts for this too. Um, but yeah, um, after you do this, you can just import it into Photoshop and make some really cool things here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you is how to export it and import it into Photoshop. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to send me a message or a comment and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. All right. And please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash Analtality. I changed my username because I don't have Hackers TM anymore. It doesn't exist. It's just me, so I just changed it. And the Twitter name didn't really fit me. But it's Analtality. Um, just go ahead and follow me. I'm always tweeting and everything, posting updates. But uh, yeah. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.